It's incredible we've now discovered a tenth planet in the solar system, and it's amazing NASA has now officially confirmed the discovery and issued an initial statement. This much we can already reveal, the mysterious tenth planet is bigger than Pluto. But how did NASA actually manage to track down this distant planet, and how could we have overlooked it for so long? Maybe we introduce this as Gong Gong, the tenth planet in our solar system, discovered in the depths of transneptunian space. Gong Gong now opens a whole new chapter in the history of astronomy. This mysterious dwarf planet is actually known to scientists as 207010. Gong Gong was discovered on July 17, 2007, by a team of astronomers consisting of Meg Schwamm, Mike Brown, and Dave Rabinowitz from the California Institute of Technology. Gong Gong is a truly unique object in our solar system. With a diameter of about 1,535 kilometers, it's the third largest known dwarf planet. Gong Gong is a mysterious world, and the entire world of transneptunian dwarf planets is a mysterious bunch that scientists do not yet fully understand. With the exception of Ceres, which is located in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, all members of the minor planet class orbit far, far from the Sun and Earth. These planets are small and cold worlds, making them difficult to observe. So, it's no wonder that astronomers have only discovered most of them in the last decade. Only Pluto has been known for much longer. Pluto was the ninth planet in the solar system until researchers discovered the other minor planets behind Neptune. We now know about a dozen of these planets, and Pluto actually had to officially relinquish its planetary status. The researchers were faced with the choice of either including all of them in the planetary ranks or drawing a line. Officially, we now only have eight planets in the solar system, but among amateur astronomers and space fans, Pluto is still the ninth planet, and Gong Gong is now the tenth. Pluto is a prime example of the surprising worlds these planetoids harbor. Before NASA's New Horizons spacecraft sent us to Pluto, we thought Pluto was a dead world dark and lonely. But in 2015, light was finally shed on the darkness, and Pluto was given a face. Since then, we know that Pluto even shows signs of geological activity and possibly ice volcanism. That is nothing short of a miracle. In its depths, the dwarf planet could be warm and have water. This would mean that life in its simplest form could also exist on Pluto. Gong Gong, a mysterious world at the edge of the solar system makes its rounds around the Sun even further out than Pluto. Gong Gong has a remarkably slow rotation, it takes almost 45 hours to complete a full revolution. That's slower than any other known body orbiting the Sun. This slow rotation could give clues to a dramatic past. Perhaps the small planet had a collision with a larger celestial body or one of the other dwarf planets, which knocked it slightly out of rotation. The surface of Gong Gong is another mystery that intrigues researchers. Like Pluto, this planet also has a striking reddish color, probably caused by tholins, complex organic molecules that form when solar radiation hits methane and other gases. Scientists see this reddish color as an indication that Gong Gong has a rich and complex chemical composition. For a long time, researchers thought that so far out in space, there could be barren chunks of rock. But now we are learning that the transneptunian planets are active little worlds, and each one is a surprise in itself. Interestingly, Gong Gong also shows signs of the presence of water and methane, indicating an icy and perhaps even geologically active world. Cryovolcanism is caused by the freezing of water and other volatiles, as well as an active layer beneath the ice sheet. The geological activity of the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn was previously explained by the strong gravitational pull of the gas giants. But where Gong Gong and Pluto are doing their rounds, there are no gigantic planets that could be responsible for this activity. The secret of these planets must lie within. Surprise, Gong Gong is bigger than Pluto. The dwarf planet 207010 was closely observed by NASA's Kepler space probe in 2014. For a long time, 207010 was the last unnamed planet in our solar system and one of a list of around half a dozen dwarf planets. The first study revealed that the object is quite dark and rotates more slowly than almost any other body. 
It was only later that researchers took a closer look at the dwarf planet and found all the new exciting details. For their research, the scientists used NASA's Kepler Space Telescope and archived data from the Herschel Infrared Space Observatory. As part of the K-2 planet hunt, Herschel was a mission of the European Space Agency and NASA. The research report on these results was published in the Astronomical Journal. As part of the new K-2 study, the researchers arrived at completely new results for the size estimate of Gong Gong. The combination of K2 and Herschel data provided a revised measurement of the planet's diameter and concluded that Gong Gong is about 2,050 kilometers larger in diameter and may even be slightly larger than Pluto. Although its elliptical orbit periodically brings the tenth planet almost as close to the Sun as Neptune, it's currently twice as far from the Sun as Pluto. This makes it difficult to accurately capture and study Gong Gong in the vastness of space. The mysterious world of dwarf planets sounds incredible, but there have always been dozens or even hundreds of small planets in the solar system, and we just haven't seen them. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh, an American astronomer. At that time, Tombaugh and his colleagues were on the hunt for the mysterious planet X, and they found Pluto. Almost 100 years passed before it turned out that Pluto was not alone. In 2005, Eris was discovered, which is almost as large as Pluto with a diameter of about 2,326 kilometers. Eris is known for its extremely elliptical orbit, which takes it far outside the Kuiper belt. Shortly afterwards, Haumea joined the group of dwarf planets with its elongated ellipsoidal body and a diameter of around 1,632 kilometers. Unlike Gong Gong, Haumea rotates incredibly quickly once every four hours, which presumably gives it its unusual shape. Haumea also fascinates researchers with its ring and its two moons, Hayaka and Namaka, with a diameter of around 1,430 kilometers. Makemake is the third largest known dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt. This one is known for its bright icy surface, rich in methane and ethane gas. Gong Gong was added in 2007. These dwarf planets, also officially known as transneptunian objects, are fascinating worlds in their own right, and researchers even believe that they could be further significant keys to understanding the history and evolution of our solar system. Each of them, from Pluto to Gong Gong, has unique features and complex processes, and these tiny planets may show us how the planets formed and the solar system evolved. Could Gong Gong be Planet X? Rum. Wars have been doing the rounds in space for a long time that there might be another tenth planet, which scientists refer to as Planet X. Before Pluto, this suspected object was called Planet 9. Then there was Pluto, and it became Planet 10 or X. However, this object must be much larger than Gong Gong and all the other dwarf planets. Now you may be wondering how researchers even come up with the idea that there could be another planet. It's quite simple. All planets show certain rotation patterns and orbital cycles. Within these orbits of Uranus and Neptune, there are periodic distortions that look as if a large object with an enormous gravitational force is pulling on the orbits of the two ice giants. These distortions allow conclusions to be drawn that there must be another large planet behind Neptune. Planet X is probably slightly smaller than Neptune but significantly larger than all the minor planets. Researchers speculate that the mysterious planet could have a huge orbit around the Sun, which could even take it beyond the actual boundaries of the solar system. If this planet has an orbital period of 10,000 years or more on a highly elliptical orbit, it would only enter the inner regions of the solar system every few thousand years. Then it would become visible. So far, however, researchers have not been able to confirm this hypothetical planet with certainty. There are many legends about Planet X. In some myths and ancient religions, there are stories about a world that appears near the Earth every 12,000 years, bringing death and destruction. These stories about a planet or an extraterrestrial world have often been associated with Planet X. However, we on Earth would probably not notice much of its appearance, even if it were to come a little closer to the Sun one day. Often forgotten, Ceres, the most unusual minor planet of all. Would you believe me if I told you that there is another planet that is often forgotten and that is not so far away? Ceres is located in the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. 
The object was discovered in 1801 by Giuseppe Piazzi, who initially classified it as a planet. Then the celestial body was long thought to be an asteroid, and finally, in the course of the minor planet reform in 2006, Ceres was officially given the title of dwarf planet. With a diameter of around 940 kilometers, Ceres is the smallest recognized dwarf planet in the solar system, but it's the largest object in the asteroid belt and large enough to achieve a roughly round shape due to its gravity. Ceres is unique because it bridges the gap between the world of rocky inner planets and the icy bodies of the outer solar system. Its surface is a mixture of water ice and various minerals, again indicating a complex and interesting geological history. The discovery of bright spots and craters on Ceres in 2015 has led to exciting speculation. These spots, mainly located in the Ecator crater, consist of salts and are now interpreted as evidence of possible cryovolcanic activity or the presence of a subsurface ocean. We know all this thanks to the Dawn mission, which entered into orbit around Ceres in 2015 and studied the minor planet in detail. Since then, we have had beautiful images of this unique celestial body. Dawn's data revealed the world with a diverse and complex surface, characterized by craters, mountains, canyons, and enigmatic bright spots. These features also indicate that Ceres is geologically active or, at least, was in its past. Signs of water and organic molecules there indicate that this mini-planet may have offered habitable conditions in the early days of the solar system. Imagine living on a planet that measures only 940 kilometers across. That would be a truly small and probably quite cozy world. Hit the subscribe button now. There are many more video hits to come.